Okay, so the cupboard's pretty much made. Um, it's not finished, as you can see. I'm gonna give you a bit of a glimpse now at everything before we start to trim it. Come and check it out with me. All right, guys, so cupboard's not finished, as you can see, but it's close. I've got the construction all complete. Um, the video it would have shown a fair bit of that. Um, obviously I don't make tutorials as you know but I do try to show a bit of what I do on film so if there's anybody who gets anything from that great. The cupboard is probably not going to be for everybody because I'm calling it the dream cupboard as I said. Um, that's because it's going to deliver coffee. Mm -mm. So milk, coffee's round this side. There's the TV, which is more for the kids than me, but hey, I'll watch a bit of telly when we're isolated. Um, points, um, gonna need power for, the wife drinks tea, so <laughs> we're gonna need something to boil that kettle and stuff. Um, got the fridge, as you know, so we've got milk and that. We just needed some sort of facility for coffee, so this is all about the coffee. Um, but yeah, I decided to make a, a, a cupboard which is going to, play DVDs, Netflix, uh, YouTube. We can watch ourselves on YouTube while we're making videos. <laughs> anyway, we've got the telly. The hi-fi system that I've put in the back is completely separate to the one in the front. There's a DVD audio so I can stream Spotify, play DVDs on here, which will come through these speakers because although these flat screens are really convenient, the, the, the quality of the sound is a bit naff. Um, so yeah, that's what the, the audio is for. I mounted one speaker on the back and one speaker on the front. This one's lower than the other one for a very good reason. Um, to keep it simple, when we sat out the back here on some chairs, we can have the radio on, we don't have to have it too loud. It's not gonna be bothering people up front. Um, and then the other speaker is designed when we hook up to our tunnel, um, you know, we can have the music on again at a level that's not bothering other people, but it's playing nicely around where we are. Um, then when you close this, if you sat inside and you want to watch a movie, if it's not too warm out and stuff, this actually penetrates the rear end of the van really well. Um, then we've got a tambo down the bottom here courtesy of Kira Vans. Uh, well, I say courtesy, I obviously bought all the stuff here, but um, it's from Kira Vans. So if you're interested in buying a cat tambador, that's where I got mine from. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and um, the aim of this was to try and uh, fix this to the van with as few new holes in my van as possible because you never know about how things might change up and I'd, I've had all this nicely carpet lined by Dirty Weekender Adventure Vans I didn't really want to restrict myself to this being the permanent solution just in case so I've mounted this quite cleverly on the uh, tie down points I've removed the spline 10, 10 millimeter bolt M10 whatever it is and I've installed some uh, big M10, longer M10 bolts that go right through. There's only one of those that's gonna be on show. I was gonna avoid it, but I decided, you know what, for the hassle it would be to make an irregular shape box to hide one bolt. Um, I just decided against, so I'm just gonna paint the bolt black and it's gonna be a lot easier to get at it when I need to, if I needed to slide that out. So it's fixed at the top, it's fixed down the bottom, and it's also fixed inside this box, which is where I'm going to keep my coffee and my cups. Um, I'm going to be using some, some sort of leather style uh, fabric to do the pockets, um, and then the black carpet to do the box itself. So it blends in quite nicely to the, um, to the, uh, the rest of the van. And then I'm hoping that I can get a custom made mat for the back. Um, once I've got my shape, I'm gonna get a mat made and I'm gonna get somebody to trim some nice cushions for these chairs and then we'll be done.
All right, guys, we're going to make a wrap for the video there because I've run out of stuff. Um, so I need to finish finish up in part two. In part two, I will give um, a full demonstration of everything, try and demonstrate the sound quality, that kind of stuff. Um, I need to do a bit of wiring on this. And also on this other side, I'm going to do some changes. This was only really temporary, as I might have mentioned before. Um, but it's worked out quite well, so I'm going to modify it just to make it better. A few things I want to do to it. I'll explain that in the next video that's coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already subscribed, maybe you consider subscribing today. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.